Warning, the following content may contain elements that are not suitable for some audiences. Your discretion is advised. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Geogancer. We're doing a balanced world today. It's a map by Debray, and we're over by the buffet. A la carte. All right, we're fucked. We're starting off today just great. Let's see what we can't discover in the middle of bumblefuck nowhere. A coastline. Uh, that could be good. We do have five oro and hella dose, and I have no idea what any of that means. And we're going to ignore it. Uh, hopefully, we can find something that looks pretty good. Like, I don't know. Did that say Pretoria? And it's blurred. Perfect. Thank you, Google algorithms. Pizzeria, not Pretoria. Fuck. Pizzeria in English, though. It doesn't feel very English. I don't know where we are. There's a beer. Uh, it's a Pilsner. Whatever. Uh, that's Spanish-ish. South America, perhaps? I, I honestly have no idea where the fuck we are. Uh, the sun's kind of to our north directly overhead, which could be the southern hemisphere. It feels like an island of some sorts. Nothing. No flags, no websites, no real good clues. And then we get this. What the fuck is that? There's a, there's a sun there. What fucking flag is that? Oh, fuck. Okay. I don't know if that's a country flag. I think it is. I think it is. It's not Colombia. It's not Ecuador. It's not Peru. It's not Chile. It's not Argentina. It's not Brazil. I don't think it's Bolivia, and I don't think it's Uruguay. Paraguay doesn't have coverage. Venezuela doesn't have coverage. Could this be the Costa Rican flag? No, Costa Rican's opposite of um, Thailand. I don't know the flag of Belize. Uh, and it very well could be one of these stupid fucking islands. It's not Barbados, because Barbados has the trident. I know St. Lucia has coverage, but I don't think that's the flag. I have no idea where we are. I don't know what flag this is. I don't know anything. Well, we're starting off today just right. Debre, I want this seed to be burned in a fucking fire. And it's Uruguay. Is that the flag of Uruguay? I... Yeah, no, that place can go fuck itself. Uh, we probably went the wrong way. Probably. Uh, it would be interesting to try and explore that area a little bit more. Maybe we'll do that later. Uh, but we're off to a great start. 55 points. Can't get much better than that. Oh, God. The Church of Jesus Christ of Later Day Saints. We have a flagpole with nothing on it. We're probably in America. South. Now, the sun is to our south, which means we are in the north. I can assure you that a lot of... Oh, there's the flag of the USA, and there's the state flag. Now, from here, I can't tell you what state flag it is, but I can tell you it's not Texas. There might be some more over here. But we know we're in the United States. Uh, it's not New Mexico either, because that has yellow and red in it. I don't... Um, or is that Arizona? Whatever, it's not California, because California is white, Arizona, New Mexico, or Texas. I don't think it's Louisiana, uh, maybe Oklahoma. I think it's like 38 of the 50 flags have a blue border. So we can we can go on what it isn't. Uh, we do have the Gem Community, never heard of it before. I did see another sign. Welcome to Dietrich. Idaho, and in the shape of Idaho. Somewhere in bumblefuck Idaho, which w they lied. That's a, This is a great story. When the guy named Idaho, he told the people 
it meant something like gem of the mountains or something fucking stupid, right? He, he, he lied about what Idaho meant. And they liked his lie because they didn't know it was a lie. So they named Idaho, Idaho, right? And then they found out it actually wasn't what he said it was. And Idaho doesn't actually mean anything. And people felt betrayed. But you know what they didn't do? They didn't play, well, I mean, they made something called Dick Shooter and China Hat, which two great names, if I do say so. They didn't change its name, which I don't know about you guys. I probably would have. Now, we can we can try and find Dietrich, which we are looking for. I'm not seeing it anywhere. This is probably something fucking small. Nobody cares about, except for the people who probably live there. Uh, let's go along 93. We can try and find, hopefully, a road number. Road numbers are always pretty big. We can't, oh, we can't go into D trips. All right. Um, it feels like an Idaho, right? It feels like bumblefuck nowhere, where people are lied to about what a name means, and then accept it, and then never fucking change it. I mean, what... What are the requirements to change the name of the state in the United States at this point? Probably something stupid and ridiculous. Uh, we're not going to find anything. We know we're in Dietrich. It's just whether or not we were able to find it, and we weren't. Um, it ends up being a little bit further to our south. Actually, a lot further to our south. Um, I don't think we were this far, and I think we were one out. But here's China Hat, and here's Dick Shooter. And let me say, God damn it, we should have guessed near those two names. We would have gotten a lot more points than what we did, but it's better than 55 fucking points. Left hand side, which means the sun's probably going to be to our, our north. Uh, it kind of looks to our south, actually, which means we would be in the northern hemisphere. Stay connected when data runs out. Smile.ug, so we're in Uganda. Uh, where in Uganda? I don't fucking know. Kampala? You seem to always be kind of near Kampala. Uh, we do have a sign right here. The Rotanya Jet Car Wash. Not important. Uh, and the same sign on the other side. You got a bunch of people just staring at us. I don't know. Don't look at me. It's fucking weird. What are you doing, people? I'm looking mainly at this point. Well, here's Focus Uganda. Uh, mainly looking for the name of the town we are in, which might be at the bottom of this, uh, but it was blurry that way. It's not as blurry this way. It says Kampala, but that says National Office. If we could find a few more places that say Kampala, I think I'm more likely to guess there. We're not moving our guess now, uh, but we're not confident in our guess. Now we have the Uganda Institute of Allied Health and Management Sciences, Mulago, uh, which that has an address, but it's a little blurry, and we're not going to be able to make it out because Google loves us that much. Uh, but I don't think we're near water. We should be able to see it to our south, and I do just see some large buildings. So let's return to start, and let's head south. Don't find water, which should be relatively easy. I think it's safe to move our guess. I don't know how far north we might be, but we should be able to see a coastline at some point. Uh, we are apparently going towards the city, which might also have another marking, right? It might say Kampala on one of these markings. With some really terribly stitched together imaging, we'll make it eventually. In time, I hope so. Uh, probably not going to do it. Let's go a little bit north, try to get the higher ground. Because apparently, according to Star Wars, holy fucking shit, I have no idea where we just ended up. I don't know what just happened. Uh, it wasn't good, though. The arrows are fucked. Alright. Um, we do got a nice little hotel. What the fuck just happened? I don't see any water, so we're probably going to want to go a little bit further north. Maybe a little bit to the left. That might actually be like 10 miles. We weren't going to find it fucking anyway. Alright. Pray for Kampala. We do have whatever that is. 
Uh, and we actually had a pretty good guess down. Ends up being a little bit further to our east. Apparently there was a river next to us the entire fucking time. News to me, I didn't see any sources of water. But uh, we we're, we're still have to make up for that first fucking round. Dirt road, middle of nowhere, nice mountains. Uh, first chance to look at language, and that's Cyrillic. So, we're probably in Russia. Now, I can tell you, based on this, this sign says, please don't start any campfires, or no fires in this area, or something along those lines, uh, and is not actually important to the success of us in this round. Now, with the amount of mountains and snow, I think it's safe to guess up in Siberia. I had to turn and look at the fucking microphone as I said that for good reason. Uh, and then don't cut down trees because pictures are worth a thousand words and I could tell you what we're being told not to do. Uh, but mountains, snow, trees, maybe not there, maybe further to our west over maybe by Moscow. It doesn't feel like eastern Russia, which is more flat, I want to say. We do have a lot of mountain ranges kind of in the middle and I guess a little bit to the northwest. We have been in places kind of similar to this in those regions. The issue is we didn't really look at the signs. We just know it's Cyrillic. We're automatically assuming because of the snow that it's Russian Cyrillic. Uh, well, there's the fucking Cold War era, World War II Russian van. I think it's safe to assume we are there, but we could have been in other places that use Cyrillic uh, and have mountains, which would, I guess, allude to the fact that they have snow as well. Uh, but this is a pretty unique location. We don't really see locations like this too often, so I'm happy we were able to find it. Now, we're not able to see the sun. It's hidden somewhere behind the clouds. I would probably say it's over, or probably have to be that way, we are in the Northern Hemisphere. But we're, we're kind of limited as to what we can and can't do. Uh, we have to use our knowledge of Russian landscape, which is almost non-existent. We know where volcanoes exist. We know where it likes to be green. But that's about it. We're kind of screwed here. We, we really have nothing going. So, mountains. I think that's what this difference is. Nothing around us, especially here. I don't even think this part has coverage. I know a lot of North Russia, which would be Siberia, doesn't have coverage. So we're trying to play our cards right by guessing a place that should have coverage, should have trees, and should have snow. If we're wrong, we're wrong, but I think this is a safe bet because this doesn't have coverage. None of that. And it's Kyrgyzstan. I'm glad I'm not the only one who guessed Russia. We did mention that we didn't see if it was going to be Russian. And that it definitely could have been another area that spoke Cyrillic. Well, not spoke Cyrillic. We used the Cyrillic alphabet that would have snow. Um, but it's nestled in between a bunch of countries that don't have coverage. So it can go fuck itself. Let's play the final round. If we would have guessed Kyrgyzstan there, we probably would be in the runnings to walk away. Maybe in first place. Now this feels pretty English. Okay. That is Welsh for fucking sure. Because the Welsh only use O's for some fucking reason. So, we're in Wales. Yay, Wales. Where in Wales are we? I don't know. All I do know is, it's not like whales, like a blue whale, which probably will be the thumbnail, because things come into place and click, and I'm like, oh, you know what would be funny? We talk about whales with a whale, right? That would be funny. And then I could have everyone clicking and being like, oh, math doesn't know the difference between whales and whales. And now you don't even know which one I said first, because they sound exactly the fucking same. God damn it. All right. Where in whales are we? We're not in a blue whale, we're not in a sperm whale. West Wales. So, I guess we go further west. Makes sense to me. Uh, and we did have the red dragon, which is the symbol on the Welsh flag. Yellow divider line, well, yellow sidelines. 
uh, which we should try and remember in case we don't see language. Uh, but the Welsh language is definitely something you can't fucking miss because it doesn't make fucking sense. So we have Riverside. We have Parrots Road. That's These are probably all not important. Uh, I would like to see this sign, which is pointing to the airport somewhere. All right. This sign, which might have town names. Fish Guard. Uh, Fish Guard. All right. We found fish guard on A40. Can we find to Dewey's in St. David's? No. Can we find St. Clair? Yes. So maybe we're over by Merlin's Bridge. <coughs> Return to start. That says Haverford West. Which is right fucking here. And that says Bolston. Which is right fucking here. So, Uzmaston? Maybe. Uh, north, south? North, south? Maybe over here a little bit, but I think this is a good fucking spot. Uh, can we find the name of this? Whatever this is. Uh, a street name would be great. I don't think we'll be able to find one, but it's it's worth hoping for. Uh, and we have a church, which we won't be able to see. St. Ismael's Church, which makes sense because we're in Wales. And we get a perfect fucking score, because why won't we get a perfect fucking score in Wales? Not that kind of Wales, damn it. Well, I'm proud of that last location. Can't say too much about Uganda and Ka uh, Kyrgyzstan. That was a good fucking Welsh location. I like that. We did good. We we didn't, but we did good. But let's check out the full results. Let's see how all of you wonderful people did. So Screenshot the World comes in first place with some really good guessing. Taurus coming in second, not getting Uruguay as well. But getting around the Kyrgyzstan area, which was huge. Natalia, uh, not getting Kyrgyzstan, but getting a good guess for Uruguay. A decent guess for the United States. Hmm, 59, guessing around where I guessed for Russia, but getting a good Uruguay guess, which is important. It also looks like not somebody didn't get Wales there. Idaho, can go fuck itself. Uh, bad Russia guess. Real bad Urugu Uruguay guess. The only ones who didn't guess South America for there. So thank fucking God for me, right? How else would you guys be so entertained? But let's see. Did anyone... Nobody else got a perfect score in Wales. I'm the only one who apparently is really good at Wales and really good at Africa. For some fucking reason. Give me a place that I understand the language. Fuck me. Especially fucking Kyrgyzstan. I can go suck a dick. Uh, yeah. One person guesses Kyrgyzstan. Fuck that place. But that's gonna be all that we have for the day. So thank you all so much for taking this wild fucking adventure with me. Kyrgyzstan can go suck a dick. Uh, but that... That's it. Yeah, there's no more. What'd you think? We were gonna play another one? Gosh, this isn't Twitch. Which we... We'll be playing for about two hours, maybe a little bit more, maybe a little bit less, depending on how well you guys interact. You guys have been doing great, so probably more than two hours tomorrow, starting at 3 p.m. Eastern. Yesterday, we went for two hours and 40 minutes, which apparently is the longest we've ever done. Uh, and I had a lot of fun, and I hope you guys had a lot of fun watching. We did the three elimination challenge, which we fucking suck at. But you know what? We did it, and shit happens sometimes. Fuck a diverse world. But, that's going to do it for us today. Thank you all so much. I do look forward to seeing you guys all tomorrow on Twitch. Have a good rest of your day, and bye-bye. <laughs>